This week we're going to start looking at Impress. We'll look at the basic components of Impress and how to create a presentation. And then next week we'll look at some of the cool features of Impress including transitions and custom animations and other things we can do within a presentation to make it more interesting um, for the people viewing it. So to start <clears throat> with Impress as we have for both Calc and Writer, open, open Office, and then we'll click on the presentation choice. When you open up Open Office, the presentation choice, you'll see similar to Calc and Writer, the menu choices across the top, and two toolbars opened, and we'll explore some of the features in the toolbar. But the main window is the default slide, and this is the title slide. Um, you can see it tells you click here to add a title, click here to add text or a subtitle, and we'll um, look at that in just a minute. Um, over on the left hand side is the slide listing, and this will show you all of the slides in the presentation and allow you to navigate back and forth through the presentation. <clears throat> over on the left is the task view, and the task view lets you have access to features such as slide styles, we'll look at slide styles, um, layouts, and tables, we'll look at those three tabs this week on the task listing, and then custom animation and slide transition, we'll look at those two features next week. So to start um, creating a presentation, just take the home slide and we'll put in the title, Introduction to Impress. And in the main text, I'll just put my name for now. <clears throat> so that's the first slide we've created. Now, we can add custom slide presentation styles to Impress um, that are built into OpenOffice. And over on the tasks available for use, these are the different choices that are available. And you can see as I click on a choice, you see a preview of what the slide style looks like over in the main um, window of the slide. So there are a lot of different choices. And we'll talk next week about how to best pick a style and what's effective, what might not be so effective. Um, so for this week, in your homework, you can pick any style you want and um, that will be fine. So I think I'll apply this style for now. <clears throat> and then to add a new slide, simply right click um, in the menu that comes up, pick new slide. and in OpenOffice, um, the main basic slide for within a presentation shows up. And again, we can add a title, and I'll call this a um, example of a list in OpenOffice. And you can see right out of the box, we can click to add text, or we can add a table, add a chart, add a movie, and add a picture. I mean, we'll look at some of these in just a minute. Um, to add a just a race basic bulleted list slide, I can just click on the click here to enter text choice, and I can just start typing um, items that I want listed and then I can just keep going and so forth and so on. So that's the basic bulleted list in um, OpenOffice. Next we're going to add a slide that will allow us to have a bulleted list and we'll insert a picture on the right hand side of the list. So over on the under tasks we used master pages to come up with the kind of background or the theme we wanted for the slide. 
Now we can go under tasks and expand the layout choices. And these are all the different types of slides that are available in OpenOffice. Um, so the slide we want to use is a title and two content. So if you select that slide, right click and click insert new slide, you can see we have two, in effect, columns to work with. So on this side, we can um, begin typing text. And then over on this side, I want to enter a picture. So I'll click the insert picture choice. A window opens up and I can browse to where the picture is. I can click open. And in a second, there's the picture to go along with the text. So you can see with the title and two content, it pre-formats it. So the content is equally divided on the slide. And you can do text and picture. We could have done picture and text. The order doesn't matter. And then I can um, put in a title for the slide. And there's my slide. Next, we'll add a slide that contains a table. Um, click on over on the right hand side where you want the slide to be inserted and then go over to the slide listing and this time we want one slide we want a slide with a title and only one content field so it'll look sort of like this but it'll have a table in it so if you right click on that you can click insert slide and then you can um, insert table from the little wizard in the center of the slide so if you click table, you can see we'll go with um, five columns for now and we'll change it to three rows and click OK. And here's the basic format of the table. You can choose different styles. You can choose different colors. Um, you can choose the line style. Here's the little window we can use to format the table. So for now, I'll just type in, I'm um, going to type in weekdays here for now. For the title, we'll call it daily temperatures. I have weekdays, and I'll just throw some numbers in here really quick. Hopefully, the temperatures will head in this direction, and it'll start to warm up. coming week does look pretty good. So there's the temperatures and um, weekdays. So we can format this by highlighting a row. I can center the text and then I can change the color of the text. And you can see that looks better white against that color blue. And I can do the same thing for the rows of temperatures just select the rows of temperatures and let's put the color in yellow so it'll stand out against the blue oops oops and then i can highlight again i'm going to center it this time i'll increase the font so you can see increase the font size a little bit so it um, is easier to you can further customize the table design by going over to the task window on the right hand side, expanding table design. And in table design, you see you have several built in styles. To apply the different styles for the table, click on the table until you see the little hash lines and the green square surrounding the table to put the table in edit mode. Then you can click on the different styles and see how they will look for applying them. So I think we'll apply this style. 
and you can see the text looks kind of washed out. So with the table selected, you can go up to the font color and change the font color of the table. And then we can, again, look at the different styles of font. And if we find one we like, we can go to font color, select the font we want. And that is how to create and edit tables in OpenOffice. Once you have your slideshow completed, you can view it in slideshow mode by clicking slideshow and clicking slideshow, or a shortcut is to simply press F5. If I click slideshow and slideshow, you can see my slide presentation takes up the entire screen. And to advance the slides, to move from one slide to the next, you can either press the left mouse button, hit the enter key, or push the down arrow key. So this is my first slide. This is my second slide. This is my third slide. And then this is the last slide. Once you've hit the last slide, the slide presentation will enter or exit um, slide presentation mode. And you can see in the upper left hand corner it says click to exit presentation. You can click or press the enter key and we're back at the edit screen of the presentation. I mean, a couple other things. If you want to insert a slide within between slides, you can click the location where you want to enter it, right click, and then you can click new slide. And you can see I have the new slide of the, of the double layout. If I want to change that to a single layout slide, I can just click and now I have a single layout. And there are other ones. Um, you can have two different lists and a picture or two pictures and a list. Um, you can customize this however you want. One thing you can do when you are in a slide like this, it may not be exactly what you want, but you can edit the edit the layout of the slide. So for example, if you click on any of the blocks in the slide to get it highlighted with the greenish, greenish squares around it, once you have it highlighted, if you hit the delete key, that block is gone. And then with the existing blocks, you can expand it out across the slide so now we've changed the format of the slide to, in, to include two blocks that run across the width of the slide instead of our side by side. You can also change the order of the slides once you have your slides in the listing on the left hand side by selecting the slide you want to move, clicking on it, holding the left mouse button down, and dragging it to where you want to insert the slide. So you see I just moved the slide with the picture in it from the third position to the fifth position and I can move the table up to the second position. So by clicking and holding the slide you can drag it to a different location within the presentation.